Hey everyone! A uh, little bit of a special video today because I'm personally coming on to say hi. I'm Renee. I'm actually the creator of this channel and this topic in particular has a special place in my heart because I've had to figure out ways to uh, regrow my hair personally and so I'm gonna show you later on in the video how I went from this to what you see today which is a couple times longer um, so stick around and I hope you enjoy all the tidbits that we have for you today do red peppers burn or help your hair and should you eat kiwi or leather your scalp with it is peanut butter or almond butter better for your hair? We'll go over some unusual hair care products you haven't seen before. So wait until you hear about their secret benefits. Serving up smiles one dish at a time. Food is thy mood is now live. Hey there, moody foodies and hair care enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where today we are diving into the fascinating world of foods that boost hair growth. From almonds to zucchinis, our diet plays a pivotal role in how our hair looks and feels. So if you're on a mission for healthier, luscious locks, you're in the right place. Let's get started. First on our list is almond butter. This nutty delight is more than just a tasty spread. It's packed with vitamin E, known for its hair-strengthening properties. Love citrus? Tangerines are your go-to for vitamin C. Crucial for iron absorption and, by extension, for maintaining fabulous hair. And let's not forget guavas. These are vitamin C powerhouses. But there's more to vitamin C than just citrus fruits. Enter red peppers and kiwis, both excellent sources, ensuring you get your daily dose of this hair-friendly vitamin. Speaking of friendly, let's talk about salmon, a fantastic source of omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D both known for stimulating those important hair follicles. Craving seafood? Clams are loaded with vitamin B12, making them a top contender for hair growth. Eggs, a breakfast staple, are a powerhouse of biotin, protein, and various vitamins, essential for hair growth. And for zinc, an absolute hero in reversing hair thinning, oysters are your best bet. Spinach, a leafy green superhero, is brimming with iron, magnesium, and sebum, a natural conditioner for your hair. Sweet potatoes are more than just a delicious side dish. They're a treasure for hair health. Rich in beta-carotene, which the body converts into vitamin A, they help in the production of sebum. This natural oil keeps the hair hydrated and promotes a healthier scalp. A deficiency in vitamin A can lead to dry, itchy scalp and dandruff. Adding sweet potatoes to your diet can be a delicious way to maintain vibrant and moisturized hair. Fancy a bowl of oatmeal? Mix in some chia seeds for an extra boost of hair-nourishing nutrients. Greek yogurt isn't just for your morning parfait. It's full of B vitamins, including B5, which helps maintain hair health. Lentils are more than just a soup ingredient. Their folic acid content helps in creating red blood cells, boosting hair growth. Liver might not be everyone's favorite, but its high iron content is great for your hair. Blueberries combat oxidative stress, a culprit behind hair loss. Barley and walnuts are both rich in nutrients crucial for hair health. Walnuts, often overlooked in hair care discussions, are actually powerhouses for hair growth. They're one of the few plant-based sources of omega-3 fatty acids, crucial for hair health. These nuts also contain biotin, vitamin E, and copper, all of which contribute to stronger, healthier hair. Including walnuts in your diet can help protect your hair from sun damage and keep your scalp rich in antioxidants. Carrots, with their beta-carotene, aid in vitamin A production for that shiny mane. Halibut's magnesium content is vital for maintaining normal insulin levels, which is surprisingly important for hair health. Shiitake mushrooms and chickpeas also make the cut, thanks to their copper and folate content, respectively. Let's not forget about spirulina, marmite, and peanut butter, each bringing unique nutrients to the table. Black beans with lysine assist in iron and zinc absorption. 
And for a quick, nutritious start to your day, fortified whole grain breakfast cereals are a great option. Avocados are a fantastic addition to a hair-healthy diet. They're rich in vitamins B and E, which work at the cellular level to protect and strengthen hair. Vitamin B is essential for hair growth, while vitamin E helps repair damage on the scalp, which can slow or prevent hair growth. Eating avocados or using them in hair masks can contribute significantly to the health of your hair. Exploring the world of hair health, it's fascinating how different cultures emphasize specific foods for promoting hair growth. For instance, in Japan, e-weed is highly regarded for its mineral-rich content, thought to boost hair strength and shine. Similarly, ancient Ayurvedic traditions in India cherish amla or Indian gooseberry for its hair-reviving qualities. These practices globally acknowledge the crucial role of diet in maintaining healthy hair. But amidst these tried-and-true beliefs, there are some quirky myths about hair growth. Take the old-age idea that standing on your head can increase blood flow to your scalp, supposedly stimulating hair growth. It's a bit amusing, even though it lacks scientific backing. These myths add a touch of whimsy to the serious business of hair care, reminding us to be discerning about the advice we follow. While nutrition is essential, it's equally vital to separate fact from fiction. And let's not forget the psychological impact of all these dietary and hair care practices. When people believe their diet positively affects their hair, it often boosts their self-esteem and reduces stress, indirectly promoting healthier hair growth. So understanding the connection between diet and hair while navigating myths and acknowledging the psychological aspects offers a holistic and well-informed approach to hair health. It's a journey that blends sound dietary knowledge with an appreciation of how our beliefs and practices influence our overall hair care experience. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed um, all of those foods. And now to tell you about my personal experience going from not being able to grow my hair um, really past like mid, a little bit lower than my shoulders. Um, I've it, one day, not one day, over some time, it actually grew to this. So um, the way that I did that, what I was doing, I was actually taking what these are called Alive Liquid Multivitamins, and I got these off of, I get these off of Amazon. Um, it's a liquid multivitamin, and so I actually find it to be pretty tasty. I have recommended it to other people, and um, they did not like the flavor, but I keep mine in the fridge, and it's kind of a fruity flavor. I drink one cap full a day, and uh, I try to actually split it in two for better absorption. So um, your body cannot possibly pr uh, process all its vitamins in one sitting, much less if it's coming from a hard-pressed pill. Fun fact, what is the number one thing found at the bottom of the wastewater treatment plants? So can you guess it? Number one thing is vitamins and, and uh, beauty products. So um, people are not dumping uh, their vitamins in the down the sink or in the toilet. So there's really one way other for um, those vitamins to be getting to um, our wastewater treatment plants. So I think you can probably figure that out when we when we take our vitamins, they go straight through us and they go to the wastewater treatment plant. And so if you're taking a pill form, we absorb about 10% of that. When I caught on to this fact, that's when I turned over to the liquid. Um, there's lots of brands. This is personally one that worked for me. So take half a cap full. To me, it's actually like a, a fruit treat, if you ask me, a little tangy. And then I always rinse the cap out afterwards, because if you don't, it will drain down the bottle. So, Alive Liquid Multivitamins, that's what I do. Um, I started taking these, and I was also juicy, juicing. I have an Omega, um, I think it's like the 3000 or 3500. It's a masticating juicer, so it slowly turns and presses the food through a screen versus the centrifugal, which is like really high speed, like grinding it um, through the screen. So, um, I was also doing that at the same time. 
really great uh, way to get your vitamins and um, where I couldn't grow my hair past my shoulders it was like it started growing and growing and growing and now I, I'm actually not as good with taking these every day or as good with um, the juicing I haven't done actually in several years on a consistent daily basis but my hair continues to grow so um, I, I noticed my hair just, you know, growing at a past its like limit after doing these things. So this is how I personally got my hair to grow from, you know, shoulder length to being able to grow, which my it's pretty long right now, um, but it will grow down to my behind if I let it. So. Um, at that point, I asked my friends if I'm looking like a witchy woman, and um, if they say yes, then I go cut it. So, thank you for joining us today, and I'll leave you to the rest of the video. Bye. While we're all about food for hair growth, let's remember that hair care is equally important. It's not just what you eat, but also how you treat your hair. From the right shampoo to avoiding heat damage, every step counts. I've linked a fantastic video in the description that dives deep into hair care, so make sure to check that out. To sum it up, achieving healthy hair isn't just a one-food wonder. It's about the balanced diet rich in essential nutrients. Incorporating a variety of these foods into your daily meals can lead to noticeable improvements in hair health and growth. Remember, it's not only about what we put on our hair, but also what we put in our bodies. So there you have it, folks a comprehensive guide to foods that can help your hair grow healthier and stronger. And hey, why not add a liquid multivitamin like Alive to your routine for that extra edge? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on hair health and general wellness. Have you tried any of these foods for hair growth? Or maybe you have a secret ingredient of your own? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your hair care stories. Until next time, keep those locks looking fabulous and feed them well.